breeding students. <laughs> so we are at Cascade Falls right now and we're laying on the rock. As you can see, yes, we're not burning. <laughs> seems that way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, but we wanted to connect to Mother Earth so we're laying and receiving her energy and feeling the wind. It's a little bit chilly. And a little bit of the sun rays that are left. Yes, and so we are going to talk about <laughs> and you know, it doesn't have to be freaking serious. Like, it's fun because we're making it all up anyway. So, yes. But that's the important part to remember. Part, right? yeah. Don't Maybe take yourselves yeah. too seriously. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. yeah, don't take yourself too seriously. One of the things is to forget how to play and how to have that experience that we had had when we were children, seeing things in wonder and just really being in awe. A squirrel. <laughs> You're getting distracted. So we're looking up and there's, there's the, a lot of, lot of cloud. we have clouds. So we're seeing clouds in the sky right now. Um, squirrel. So <laughs> it's good to like that. See that? See that? <laughs> See that just happened? We to give ourselves like this opportunity and not to be so serious. Give yourself just, permission yeah. to be childlike. Yes. To, to walk through life with the swan of life, right? I um, it's a the beauty of nature. Um, we love being outdoors, so yeah. every time we go out, we are just amazed at the beauty oh of Mother Gaia. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, 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 all the time. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow. Japanese have a name for that, right? They, they call it forest bathing. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. just like, in English, we don't have a term for it. But yeah, yeah I mean, just you go out in nature and, and you just basically uh, receive all that vibration and energy from, so from, good. Like a from Mother from Earth. Earth. Yes. Uh, so I love it. Personally, I love being in mountains, especially winter or any season. Yeah, summer. doesn't matter. Being outside when it's cold, just a cycle. It's like life, right? Everything cycles through. Right, and we have ebb and flow within us as well, like the ocean. So don't be so hard on yourselves when something is off in your day or in a week, right? Just feel through it and let it be. Yeah, let it go. Don't don't be so hard on yourself. So right, we've been talking about the importance of love in in the world right and how we are going to shift the world through more love and so what um, what is really truly important is to love oneself because people are looking for love externally in relationships there's always feeling that uh, there's somebody externally going to fill that void like they feel that there is a void and it, it, what it may be is, is lack of really fully acceptance of yourself uh, with all your dark sides, right? Your, your uh, maybe your demons or whatever you might have or, or aspects of yourself that you don't necessarily care for. Um, we need to come to terms with it. We need to accept it fully and we need to love ourselves fully. And when you truly accept and love yourself, completely and unconditionally without any judgment that's when things shift that's when, that's when you realize that really there is no need for me to have anybody else in my life I'm whole I'm complete I'm 
full of love. Mm -hmm. And then when you do meet somebody who resonates uh, with you, it's you have a relationship based on completely different terms. That's where the shift happens. And that's what Judy and I have together. We have this, this loving, uh, unconditional love, right? With this, this loving, <laughs> Honey oozing relationship. <laughs> honey oozing, yes. Honey oozing. Uh, it's honey, honey oozing for me. <laughs> honey dripping all over. Yes. And, it feels like and, that. It feels and, like and, that. And, but it's, for us, it's not physical. We are not in the physical love. It's it's more like a platonic, but it's it's like, yeah. it's deeper than that. We fully, truly yes. uh, admire and appreciate and love uh, each other deeply. Um, and so it's, it's without any expectations and without None. any judgments. So there is None. complete acceptance of the other. And that cannot happen unless we first fully accept ourselves. Yeah. That's, where, that's why it's important in each and every one of us to start with that work on the complete self-love and self-acceptance. And some people may think, well, that's selfish, isn't it? And, and why is that a bad thing? I think if you are not loving yourself, you will invite um, discord or or drama into your relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So why why have that if you don't need it? Why don't you resolve that with yourself first, and then all of your relationships will be love relationships, beautiful, unconditional love relationships, and. Uh, Yes, and 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 it's so wonderful when you are in that in that, in that state uh, because there is no expectation, there is no uh, judgment, there is no oh it should be this way or, or or it needs to be that way or why isn't it that way or why did she say that or why did he do that? It's, and it's not even in relationships, not even give and take. That's what people mm -hmm. think. You know? It doesn't need to be that. No. Why does it need to be given to No. Yeah. No, none of that at all. I'm going to go and do this for her so that later on I can go out with my friends later and like hang with my friends. And so get I'm going to go do this thing. Yes. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, that's so. Bullshit. That's, That's very codependent relationship. Codependent and like, I don't desire that in and, my life. And you're, you're participating in the matrix. Like exactly. You do that. You're participating in the template. That the, that the template. This whole world, whole world, is in that template in relationship. Give and take. I do this for you. You do this for me. That's conditional love. I love you if or I love you when, or I love you because, or I love you, yep. um, I don't know, the thought escaped me. <laughs> but there is always some hook, right? Yes, There's always yes. some hook. And, and, and I'm so tired of that. I just like, yes. I realize that I don't desire relationships based on those kinds yeah. of conditions because it, it shouldn't be conditional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love you who you are for your being, and I appreciate you, admire you, and I love you. And that means that I need to give you all that space to be who you want to be yes. without putting those projections of yes. my desires on you. Mm -hmm. Because that starts limiting you, changing who you are, right? Yes. The minute I put my expectations on you, I start locking you in the box, right? Limiting. It is very limiting. Limiting. And then you, you feel that energetically, and then you, you don't allow yourself like hmm, I can't do this because of what he thinks mm -hmm. or what he'll think about right. about me if I do that so then just put yourself in a box and limit yourself. You're unlimited. Unlimited being here on the earth. And you're designed to do fabulous things here on earth. Right. And scrolling in my ear. Don't stop yourself from that. And you can have such a beautiful loving relationships with many, many souls. Many. You have a soul family. If you're watching this, then you're in my family. You're in my soul family. 
because I do have soap down when you know that. Yes. <laughs> if you're watching my channel, then you know that we we have this resonance, this energy, you know, all, to, all together. And we, we're here to show you what a loving relationship looks like without the template, without the 3D bullshit princess template that everybody's practicing. Or knight in shining armor. Yeah, knight in shining armor. What? Whatever what? bullshit. Yeah, I need, I need, especially for women, I need a guy who has a job, who can Comes take and care saves of me, me. And can do all this shit for me, you know, and that's bullshit. Do it yourself. <laughs> Love on yourself. Love on well, especially in today's society, women are empowered, right? Women yes, can get jobs, my gosh. and many of them You're are the getting goddess jobs that, you are. that are well-paying, and they're not dependent on guys, which is a great thing. Yeah, they can completely arrange their own lives and not be dependent on men. So, this is a great time for any human on the planet to self-realize, right? Yeah, we're going through that. Right now. There's some, some gateways that are happening. For us to see major shifts, major solstice is happening on the 21st. And so yes. that is like a, a gateway. So whenever we have these gateways that happen, so the, the shift happens in the inside of us too as well. So to me, it's like I see it as an opportunity. Like, ooh, my energy is changing again. Here it comes. Magic. <laughs> Bam, activate you. DNA gets activated. Boom. To receive more photonic light. Bam, you get the plasma in your body. All this information happens and it gets revealed to you. Then you're like, what's going on? Like, I don't want to work this job anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. This relationship's not working anymore. You come into that soul part of you. That's how you love yourself. You don't need anyone. No. No. That's participation. Right, the need yeah. is, is one of the primary... That's huge, uh, right? Right. Huge in relationships. It is. Mm -hmm. Is that the primary illusion? Yeah. Of existence. Yeah. Free existence. The illusion of the need, according to... Mm -hmm. Is it a friendship with God? Friendship with God, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the primary illusion that all of the yeah. other illusions are based on. Mm -hmm. um, it's the number one. Mm -hmm. right. so really uh, need I need anyone. this to be happy. I need this relationship to be happy. Really? Yes. This to be happy. And many times people focus their, uh, their needs also perceived so-called needs on material things, right? Mm -hmm. I need this this car. car or this this house. house or this boat or whatever you know you need this if, motorcycle. If you think about it do you really need it and what does it truly mean when you get it are you going to be any happier um, contemplate on that sometimes when you when you think about having it you can imagine it it's like almost having it and then you can feel what it's like having it and I've gone through situations where I realized I don't really need that. I've gone through the feeling of having it and it didn't make me feel any better and realized, oh, before I made a purchase, I decided I don't even want it. <laughs> and it was liberating. That's the liberation it's in one sentence. Do I really need it? Right? Ask yourself before, before you try to buy something or obtain something. For me, at this point in my life, life is about experiences. Yes. I want to experience, not amass things, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And 
then you can meet people like oh. Judy or I, and, <laughs> and we have we love each other. We have so much fun together, but we are we are not in physical we, relationships. We love each other. But but it's it's different. It's, it's, it's not like we are life deep, partners. It's a deep, deep yeah. what? We are life partners. But not like in a physical sense. Well, not, you're not thinking a couple, 3D life partner. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And not what people think. symbol of acceptance right mm -hmm. there. Yep. The ultimate acceptance of what is. Yeah. It's so yes. and, and so that's one of the things that in our world is we don't know how to be. We just don't know how to be. Be in stillness. You don't even know how to do that. Be still with your own thoughts. It's programming. It scares me. Yes, like, it does scare me. I can't meditate. I have so much going on in my head. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. That's why you need meditation. Yes, you do. <laughs> you it's can a get liberation. Rid of, yeah, you can get rid of those thoughts and feel freedom because they are not who you are. Those thoughts that are going on in your head, you close your eyes and meditate. That is not you. Your to-do list, your whatever role you're playing on the planet, whatever you work, that's not you. Exactly. No more. As the cartola says, the beginning of freedom is the realization that you are not a thinker. Not, not the thinker that you think you think you who you are. <laughs> <laughs> your soul, your soul, and soul is here to experience and love and evolve. Change, help shift humanity on a massive level. That's why you guys are here. You guys are here for that. You guys, deep inside, you know that. You know that already. Some of you just don't know how to to do that or how to get out of the, the matrix and go towards that path. So Come this way. Come to the light. Come to the source. Come to the source. Yes. Come to the source. Tap into that Where are you higher from? part of you. Or not. This that's home. That's home. And we're not this 3D here. Uh, we're more than the senses. We are so much more than this. Even our flesh. We're so much more than this. Yes, you did change your body. It's a vehicle. It shows all of your experiences. So it's Earth Rover, right? Who said Earth that? Rover. It's, it's Earth, Earth Rover. Rover. <laughs> it's Earth Rover. Yeah. If you chose all of these experiences, every challenge, every struggle that has come, you chose that. You did. So accept it. Don't dwell on it, though. <laughs> and don't beat yourself over it. Don't that. beat yourself up. Don't dwell on it. If somebody did something to you. You know what? It's okay. You have soul contact. Just gotta let that go. I let it go. Because now, with the energy is coming in so strong, you're here to transcend. You are here to like let go of that. We're doing like major purging. Major pur purging right now. We're coming into the three eclipses starting next month. That solar eclipse, the two the lunar eclipse, and then another eclipse in August. That doesn't happen. That does not happen. When that happens, then massive amount of people are going to really come into their soul. Yeah, massively with all these eclipses. Eclipses are here to cut things out. Like, I eclipse this relationship. I eclipse this job. I eclipse this family. I eclipse whatever. My former self. My former self. I eclipse, yeah, my, my issues. I eclipse 
these problems that you like it just eclipses everything <laughs> everything that you're holding on to on the inside Anything that's that causing doesn't resonate you anymore grief anxiety whatever the lower frequency vibrations you can do it before the eclipse you don't have to wait yeah. for the eclipse but the eclipse is going to help hard with it yes you can you can let it go you let it go just visualize close your eyes visualize all of it and then just really sit and let it go oh, good riddance yes bye 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 i let go <laughs> i let go and then it's freedom you liberate yourself you liberate yourself because attachment causes suffering that's Buddhist philosophy. Attachment causes suffering. So when you're attached to something, or someone, or someone, yeah, then it causes suffering. Why suffer? Experience that. Experience Joy is your birthright. When you came here on the planet, you incarnated in this body. You were meant to be filled with so much joy and experience this life. With joy, but it's all the programming of parents, family, environment, school, society, school society. society, what we watch, everything. We're getting heavily, heavily programmed. And well, we you're bombarded need to from every angle every since angle. you're a child, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's the world we're living in. Um, yeah. But we can, yeah, it's time to break free, recognize what's what's a matrix and it doesn't resonate with us any longer we don't need that uh, we are greater than that and uh, yeah let's let's shift 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 together <laughs> i shift you we shift the <laughs> all, all together we will shift together and ascend together and go through all of this together and that's the beauty of this experience i feel like doing all of this together this phone is getting heavy. Okie dokie. So now we're sitting up and we're enjoying. Namaste. We're enjoying everything. The trees, the water, even all the bugs. <laughs> like, yeah. And a, gi- a giant just, ant. Everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. We need to come into this moment of stillness like that where we're just and acceptance. being. Accept where you are. And just and who you are. Who you are and just be. Sometimes you can just do that in one breath. Do it in a breath. Your breath yeah. is so powerful. It can shift you. It can shift you out of your misery. <laughs> just breathe. Mm-hmm. We don't breathe enough. We only use 10% of our lungs during the day. So we only breathe up here. It's super shallow. But when you breathe diaphragmatically from your diaphragm and take in that air and fill yourself up you can bring in anything I fill myself up with love and I exhale out all the negativity criticism toxins programming everything yes, you can let beautiful. that all no it's very powerful out. yeah and you can use it with your breath the breath is really powerful it's we were given that we were given that tool. That's how we came into existence. One breath. One breath. One vibrational frequency. Om. Started it all. Om. Started it all. <laughs> Om. When you chant Om, it's going to be familiar. You'll feel that resonance inside of you. Because this is how all of life started. It's frequency frequency before it became into the physical that's what we all are anyway frequency right. when you understand yourself as an energetic being you can move through life so much easier because you can shift yourself when something comes at you you can let that go easily when you understand it's just energy right. move it move it out of you. you don't have to keep anything that doesn't resonate with you shift it Need it. I need that shit. <laughs> right, you. right, liberate yourself. <laughs> yes, freedom. Mm-hmm. Freedom. Find some moments in stillness in your day. I mean, for myself, I like to wake up super early in the morning. I, I know a lot of people can't. I 
can't wake up that early like I do, <laughs> like you. <laughs> so, You're a master. Jimmy. I am a master. A master. Okay. I love my sleep. <laughs> yes, a lot of people love sleep, but for me, when I wake up at 4.30 in the morning and I prepare my body for meditation, so I do some yoga for 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm in stillness. I feel like it's a blessing to be able to have that moment to myself <laughs> like I get a lot of inspiration I get a lot of messages I connect with the divine and really it's all about me so I'm in this open space for all of these energies to come to come and sometimes I hear so many messages a lot <laughs> like, I get a lot of downloads and share please share. I am going to share them my 3D job is ending, and so now I can share it. <laughs> so I can come into more of my soul's mission, which is to be a channel. And whenever anything comes through, I'm going to share it now with all of you because they told me to share a long time ago. It's just, a, I'm stopping myself from sharing. I noticed my own 3D bullshit, and now I'm like, I gave myself like a time limit to like I can't I need to just share share all my downloads because it's important because I'm here as a channel for energies and messages to help shift humanity we're all here for that just have to tune into that tune into that <laughs> tune into yes. that <laughs> tune into that I have the most colorful leggings <laughs> yeah, I like them. Out on them like, early. wow look at look at how bright that is it's like super bright look at that color okay that's why that's, I'm wearing shades yeah I know <laughs> I know you know even my mountain. nails like wow okay just okay that's off on a tangent right there but you know what that's just being again like childlike in a state of wonder you know it's when you celebrate life celebrate life oh my yeah. gosh don't be so damn serious don't participate in the matrix. You don't have to. Just be. You decide who you want to be. You can recreate it every day, every single day. Every moment. Every moment. Mm -hmm. You want to be a unicorn? You could be a unicorn if you want to. Fart, I, fart I want rainbows? To, yeah, fart rainbows with me. <laughs> Come to my side and be in unicorn mode and fart rainbows with me. <laughs> Be my unicorn squad. Oh, I like that. Should make a t-shirt. Unicorn squad. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Fart rainbows with me. Be the unicorn squad. <laughs> <laughs> See, that just came to me. <laughs> nice. I like. And you have it on video. <laughs> I have it on video, so I'm gonna make a t-shirt. <laughs> Hashtag unicorn squad. <laughs> I like that. Life can be so fun. Yes. Life can be fun. You can have so much joy in your life. And with the simplest things, <laughs> like yes. I'm looking at my leggings and I'm like, wow. <laughs> it doesn't have to be intense. Just any single, being gratitude, that's how it shifts really first. Be in a state of gratitude. When you're in a state of gratitude, you and open yourself up for more. Yeah, appreciate everything that has come to you, your life. One of the affirmations that I say to myself in the morning, I live my life with ease and grace. Joy flows to me effortlessly. And then it happens. And you know, I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. Nice. We need a parking spot? Okay, parking angels, bam, we get a, park we get a parking spot. Rockstar parking too. But yes, right at the trailhead. Like, <laughs> wow. So. That's what's happening right now, that manifestation of your thoughts into the physical. You'll start to see after J July, July, August, you'll see a lot of that. So this is the prep period. So harness of whatever you dream of, what, whatever, you know, you can, oh, we should do the cup thing, Iggy Boo. We don't have two cups. <laughs> I did that already. No, we need to ago. share that with everybody oh, else. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the next video. Let's we can do it in a hotel or <laughs> okay. whatever. I'm getting cold now. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. <laughs> Peace, Peace out. out. Oh!